What's up guys, this is Annie Rose from Open Source. We're here in the beautiful Hollywood Hills to see how Beverly Hills moms enjoy their cannabis. My guide to the fabulous life of the rich and famous potheads is the Martha Stewart of marijuana, the keeper of Kush, and a real high housewife of Beverly Hills, Cheryl Schumann. She is preparing one of her high class society get togethers for the 420 friendly. And on her personal chef shopping list is chicken breast, tomatoes, and ganja. Hi, how are you? Here you go. At Perennial Holistic Wellness Center, we got a look at the buds grown on Cheryl's very own farm in Northern California. These are the hemp vapes. And a taste of her latest pet project, CBD products. You can hold it in as long as you feel comfortable. Right, I feel incredibly at peace with the world. Exactly. CBD does not get you high at all. You'll feel a sense of wellness and perhaps a slight bit of euphoria, but there's no high. It's not a psychoactive effect. Which is oh, completely okay. legal. Yes. You're selling it alongside cannabis mm -hmm. is because people usually enjoy the two together. It works very well together. Cheryl first started lighting up the Kush when she went to see her doctor for anxiety, and he prescribed rolling a big, fat spliff. But marijuana really came through for Cheryl 10 years later. In 2006, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. I was rushed into emergency surgery. I had a radical hysterectomy, and I was preparing to die. There's no malignancy right now. I'm stable, and right now I'm cancer-free. And today, Cheryl has made a buttload of money thanks to marijuana. She and her business partner slash daughter, Amy, are capitalizing on the Kush and enjoying it at the same time. She's the coolest mom ever. She got me into marijuana because I... <laughs> <laughs> and it is just as much of a moneymaker as any other drug. They estimate that the revenue from these types of products, specifically CBD, will be a $47 billion industry by 2016. So cannabis and CBD has made you a millionaire? Yes. Back at the villa, Cheryl is hosting this reefer bash in honor of out-of-town guests, Mariah and her daughter Dahlia, who is undergoing chemotherapy for brain cancer and had just flown in from Denver, Colorado, where Dahlia's mother claims the demand for CBD products is so high that there isn't enough to go around. What's happening is once they get there, they end up on waiting lists and there's no product, and they realize they can't get it. What you have is a lot of very concerned parents who are terrified out of their minds that their child isn't going to make it, and, and that's heartbreaking. I mean, it, it's heartbreaking. And when you get to that point, when your loved one is dying, you'll try anything. You'll try anything. Anything that you can make with um, olive oil or butter or anything else, you can make as cannabis infused. If you're cooking it like he is now, it's it's not like you can smell anything that could that could have an effect on you. Absolutely not. Time to eat. Time to manja the ganja. <laughs> So we're, we're here trying a CBD infused meal that the chef made. I mean, honestly, it tastes pretty much like any other meal you would ever have. It's really tasty. I can't taste anything, though, that tastes remotely like marijuana. Okay. <laughs> 